Hey, welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. And we're here, you know, Mariah's out on the loose. She's left the country for the first time since the pandemic. Well, she's out there um, on the open ocean. Is it the open ocean? It's the Mediterranean, probably. Uh, it's a body of water. She's out on the water. Yeah. You know, Mariah loves the water. <laughs> so does. we're going to talk about what she's been up to this week, Yeah, which is basically fashion, fashion, fashion. It's a big fashion moment over there. Yeah. But, you know, there's been like social media moments as a result. So, you know, let's break hey, it down. Hey, listen, it all works. I can't wait to get into it. Mm-hmm. Um, but can we give a little shout out to our friend, our song, Big Energy? It's doing really well out there. It's still, Yes. Yeah, it is. It, it, is. I, it is the um, top selling digital song of the year so far. Okay. So that's, that's good. An achievement. Hello. There's no other option, really. <laughs> Mariah's <laughs> used to a number one. Right. No, but also you can't go to the store and buy it. Oh, well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, yay. <laughs> well, it's out there selling. So that's a good thing. Well, I was going to say um, sold, not streamed. That's an achievement. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. Because I think it's at 100, 161,000 units, digital units. That's a lot. In this day and age? Absolutely, yeah, right? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Now, I don't think it's the Mariah version, but... We're just jumping we're... on the wagon. We're taking <laughs> but... a, we're taking a that's credit. Like, that's our friend. Like, we know her. Like, yes. Yes. We worked on the song together. Yes. So... We have a remix. We were at the BET Awards. Right. So, okay. So speaking of the BET Awards, we talked about it a few weeks ago, mm-hmm. but there's been a little bit of new footage released. Okay. So Did the, you see it? Yes. But the controversy, the, the question was the silhouette. Was that a video screen or was that a real shadow with some sort of magic special butterfly effect on it? Yeah. That was what everyone was puzzled about. Well, I was. Were you puzzled? Yeah, I think you were the only one puzzled. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't puzzled. No, because the syncation of it all was very good. So I wanted to know, was that a real shadow with some sort of magic? Right. It turns out that, so we saw side footage from yeah, the side from of like the stage. This angle. Mariah was very, very in sync with it. That it looks more like a real shadow with some sort of effect. But don't you think that that's, like she's supposed to like choreography yeah it was just a hand in the air it's not like she's just doing like it was just this that's a lot to do (laughs) i would have she just was doing this i would struggle (laughs) (laughs) i still am saying because that whole thing that lifted up yeah it was it was a television screen because otherwise they would have had to have backlit her mm-hmm. in order for her to be poor, like shined out as, as a silhouette. Mm-hmm. And so she wasn't backlit. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I well, burst, I burst the, the, the bubble. You did. <laughs> Cause I, well, she did a very good job. Exactly. <laughs> so we are praising her. Yes. She got her arm choreography down. Yeah. Syncopated mm-hmm. synchronized whatever the word would be. But do you want, let's not um, jump to conclusions. Maybe somebody knows about some new high tech we don't know about. Sure. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> it keeps me awake at night. <laughs> well, we might have to get one of the uh, set designers or producers to see how, the, how it all went down over there. But mm-hmm. I love that we saw her from the side angle before she came out mm-hmm. and you know i just i just love those those views that you don't see from the tv yes a little, it's almost like a i wouldn't say behind the scenes but on the side of the scenes bonus footage just on the side yeah not behind it was a side scene it was a side scene yeah and it was great it was i loved it yes i want all the angles more angles so we have that opening and then but here's the thing I did hear when when people watched that little behind the scenes or side of the scenes, mm-hmm. they were saying, well, Mariah obviously wasn't singing because you can't hear her. No, no, no. See, now let's dispel that rumor. <laughs> no, when there's a television moment, the, that's what happens. The sound is kind of low. Right, especially if you're there on the stage. Yeah. You're not hearing that. That's why they need monitors. Right. Exactly. Because it's going out. It's not coming back. Right. And, you know, if you've you've ever been to a TV recording, just a general talk show or something, when you're in the audience versus being at home, you realize um, the sound isn't that loud in the audience. You have to kind of really listen closely. It's not loud volume. 
it's not in it's, real life. It's like a different audio thing going on mm -hmm. for sure. So mm -hmm. I was like, no, yeah, I, I'm not listening to that one. <laughs> but that's what people were saying. But ah, uh, yeah, no, so they don't understand. Because remember, I, but I think a lot of people don't understand. No, but remember when she was on the Macy's Day float parade float? Yeah, and then they're like, oh, she's lip syncing singing on for Christmas. And it's like, everybody's literally thinking oh, right, the backup right. singers didn't even have microphones. Yeah, there's no way you can get all that audio to travel through the streets. Exactly. No, I know, but that's too much money. You can do it, but that's too much money. Greg, nobody got time for that. No, you got to keep it moving. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Oh. But they were like, oh, she's lip syncing. She's lip syncing. It's like, no, everybody lip syncs. You yeah. just can't be singing in general. Your mama would be lip syncing too. Yeah. Shoot. They don't understand. <laughs> these things but, but anyways so that was cute but we actually did get another angle as well we actually got one of lotto from the side as well while mariah was performing cute uh -huh. but the other really really cute one was when she was coming off the stage did you see that one i did see that one yes and she was coming back and then debbie allen was there oh yeah love her and then brian was all hyped and excited and everything uh -huh, oh uh -huh. so cute that was a cute little moment i love i love that very cute yes i wish the stage moment was longer give me the whole thing from the side yeah that's what i want all of it yeah yeah but i thought all that was super cute so i loved it it's still buzzing We're yeah still buzzing. honey i also think I don't know what what that uh, performance is on YouTube, how many views, but mm -hmm. I think it was one of the highest ones of the night. Oh. I remember it had hit like 2 million. Really? Like the next day or something. And then Lotto, I went to go watch, not Lotto, um, Lizzo. Mm -hmm. Let me get my Lizzo's and Lotto's right. I looked at Lizzo's and hers was only at 57K. Really? Yeah. And her performance was great. It was really good. So I don't know. I was like, well, they were tuning in to Mariah. It's a smash hit. Oh, honey, love it. Somebody drove by my apartment the other day playing it in the car. I heard it on the way uh, walking to, to work. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They had the, the hood down, the roof down. Yeah. People are jamming out. Yeah. They love it. Number love one, it. digital selling. Just saying. Just fun. saying. <laughs> in the streets. <laughs> Actually, I'm glad to be back in LA because I've been hearing Mariah in the streets. I heard Honey in the shop the other day. I heard something else. Always been my baby in the shop. Oh, classic. Heard Zero Mariah in New York. See, they don't they don't be paying attention. That's not right. I know. It's not right. Now here's where it's at. Well, after all of that, now we got new Mariah stuff. Yes. Okay. So let's set the scene. Because last week we were saying that she was in Italy on the boat. And we were, we, were uncon we were unsure where she was because we were hearing rumors she was in Italy. Right. There was no, no sightings. sightings. No sightings. And then I think you were telling me Nick was, I mean, kids were with Nick. Yeah, but the kids actually weren't with Nick. So that was a total lie. Don't ever listen to me. Okay. So scratch that <laughs> rumor. <laughs> they weren't. No, they were not. Um, but they were all over there for the Dolce & Gabbana fashion event. Right. The Alta Moda. Exactly, which is a big event for them. It's a new thing. I think it's like 10 years old, according to Vogue.com. Um, but it means high fashion. So it's the gowns, the exclusive, um, what do you call that? Haute couture. Haute couture slash, there's not another word for it. When fashion. No, when it's like custom, I think what it's called. Couture. Cout haute couture. Haute couture, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess in English, couture. <laughs> but um, gowns. You know where I love gowns. Love a gown. Yeah. Love a gown. Uh -huh. um, okay. So we finally, our first glimpse of her though, our very first glimpses of her coming off the yacht because they were on the yacht. Yes. So Mariah has been out there sailing the seas and enjoying and relaxing and also doing, you know, fashion. Do you think the hotels were booked? Should they go stay on the yacht? No, 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 no. Girl, that's what you do over there. That, that's what rich people do. They stay on the yacht. Oh yes. If you're staying in a hotel, low level. Common. Commoner. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly it's all in fun <laughs> no i think she's uh, she's been on the boat for a while now though because oh. again we've seen all all of um you know the team mm -hmm. they've all been on the boat for a while it's been at least a week now okay so on the boat now we first see the glimpse of her coming off of the boat okay i think the gag was the big hair gagged mm -hmm. love it first um wave of comments was divas live 98 yes hair, back. instantly instantly yes give us love. the nostalgic moment and doesn't look good 
Didn't I tell you that? Oh, Mariah with the big hair? Yes. Say less. Say less. Yeah. With a crown. Yeah. You know what I learned the other day um, from the kids? What? No cap. Whose kids? It, the kids on the street. Oh. <laughs> When something is like serious or for real, they say no cap. No cap. Yes, girl, I swear to you, that's what they say. So Mariah came off that boat and I was like, (laughs) no, (laughs) after she came off the boat with the big hair and everyone was like, oh, 98 Divas. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no cap, 98 Divas. That's right. For real. That's right. For real. Yeah. No cap on that comment. Is that what it means? I don't know. (laughs) You just say no cap. (laughs) Okay. So I'm like, yes, no cap. Gotcha. Allegedly. Um, (laughs) Well, it looked great. Yes, yes. And it was Serge who did it. He posted about Mm -hmm. it. Yep, sure did. I thought Dio was doing that. I know, because he's there. Mm -hmm. But maybe he's just doing like her everyday hair. Or maybe he's like, you know, assisting. Maybe. He's all hands on deck for this event. Yeah, with all that hair? Yeah. You need at least two people. Right. Because, you know, you want to talk about a wig on top of a wig? No cap. No cap. On That's the a wig on top of yeah. a wig. Honey. Uh-huh. And it was fabulous. Fabulous. Great. Perfect. And then the next- That should be her everyday look. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let these people have it. Yeah. All day, every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then the next thing we see is her arriving at the Altamoda event. And that was a gaggy situation. Oh my God, did you die? Yes. Uh, <laughs> it was an event. <laughs> I told you, we said this last week. Mariah just has, to, or the week before, Mariah just has to walk around and voila, we're entertained. Yes. But and being a fabulous dress, though. <laughs> yes. We, we, we like that too. But yes, just walking around, we'll take it. Exactly. <laughs> what did you think of the dress? I thought it was phenomenal. Same. Beautiful, gorgeous, <sighs> very European. Speechless. Yeah. That uh, I loved Euro- it. European tile look. Mm-hmm. Ancient tile. Almost like Italian yes. tile. Uh huh. Oh my God. But okay. So I was thinking, okay, what if she wore that dress to the Songwriter Hall of Fame? It wouldn't work. It'd be out of place. It's working in this European, Grecian, ancient setting. It, well, yes, very, very much so. Would it have worked at the Songwriters? Maybe it would have been too much. Right? Yeah. Because with that dress and then now the hair and the crown, she's giving us like Aphrodite, Grecian, um, ancient goddess yes. looks. Yes. Okay. Yes. You're right. Because again, this is hot couture. Honey, yes. So you got to do all of it. Mm-hmm. So that, yes, it fit. It was perfect. It was beautiful. Mm-hmm. Stunning. Every bit of it. From the crown on down. Okay. Is this, a, is this like a wasted look? Should we have worn this to some other event? Because it's just, she just walked in the streets in this. But what else would she wear it to? There's know, nothing right? going There's on. There's nothing going on. Like an award show or something? No. What if she wore that to BET? That, that's, that's too much. Too much. Yeah. yeah. I guess you just wear it in the streets of Italy. Well, because the dress she did wear to BET, which was also Dolce & Gabbana, I good, think it worked. That was a good dress. You know, because everything was like black and gold. Yeah, it worked. Would that dress have worked at this Altamoda? Wrong color for the season. Yeah, it would not have worked. No. I think it worked. Everything worked where it should have worked. Yeah, 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 (laughs) it did. Yeah. And so, okay, so we see her being escorted to her seat by Dolce and Gabbana. That's them. Allegedly, I really couldn't tell you what they look like, but that was them. (laughs) (laughs) Have we moved on from the controversy of years ago? I think we moved on, right? I guess we have. moved on. I mean, I forgot about it for a while, so... Whatever. It's okay. Whatever. If you're interested, you can Google it and make your own decision. I feel like it was a while ago now they learned. Yeah, exactly. So whatever. Um, Mariah seems to enjoy their clothing. So we're going to leave it at that. We will. But the event looked great. Sophisticated. This is the kind of shit she should be going to. Luxurious. Yes. And also, I think, do you remember we were talking about, oh, you know, what if Mariah doesn't know anyone there? Or what if it's like a new group of people Mm -hmm. or like, you know, different? Because not everyone there is a singer. Mm -hmm. Not everyone there is a songwriter. Mm -hmm. Not everyone there is a diva. Mm -hmm. But there were fabulous, fabulous um, counterparts around Mariah. There were, which was great. Love it. Our good old friend, Sharon Stone. Always, always. Love for Sharon Stone moment. Absolutely. She looked great as well. Yes. And our um, masterclass comrade. 
Oh. Helen Mirren. Wait, did she do a masterclass? Did I make that up? No, she did. She did. She did. She did. I didn't watch it, though. No, no, I was busy with the Mariah. Yeah, I got Mariah and Brandy over here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but she was there. We know Mariah's loved her for a long time. Yes. Uh, remember the Palm Springs um, speech? Yes. Back yes, in the day. Yes. How she was saying uh, that Helen Mirren was there. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's um, right. Also, and, a legend icon, Helen Mirren. Oh, absolutely. So, absolutely. yeah, that was a great group of friends. But then what about... I know what you're going to say. <laughs> I, what about... The, look, now, listen. I love Drew love Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cute dip in, dip out photo. Okay. Good it for was. Drew. It was. That's for Drew's Instagram. And you know, when I was watching the actual fashion show itself, Drew was sit sitting right center middle of the runway. The runway was very like, and Mariah was like over here, but like Drew was dead center. So like, they know her. Yeah, they know. Just, but Drew's also a legend icon, but different oh, group. Exactly. But don't get me started. I love her. No, we I love. do love her. Did you see the um the little behind the scenes, side of the scenes, uh, social media moment with Drew? No. Yeah. So we we see that like they're in the photo or not. Mm. Um, Mariah's, you know, she got that fan. The fan. Yes. Oh, BT Dub. Yes. Record breaking heat wave going through Europe at the same oh, time. Oh, is that? Oh, Mariah had the fans, honey. That's why everybody looked uncomfortable as hell. Heat wave plus dress. All the clothes. Long gown. Heavy, heavy gown. Big hair. Huge hair. Makeup. <laughs> I'm sure she was very, very uncomfortable. Yes. Because in that kind of heat, no fan can cool you down. No, heat, it's, it's almost just... like you need a constant. But you're also just moving hot air at that point. Yeah. Well, you got to do something. You got to do something. You got to yeah. do something. But I'm sure it was hell. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. But she looked fabulous during the she whole thing. Great. That's why I was like, whatever looks good, like it's all going to melt off at some point. Yeah. In the night. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take it. Eventually. Take photos now. Um, okay, so when Drew walks up to Mariah, Mariah has her fan and she's talking to Sharon and Helen over here. And it's almost like she doesn't notice that Drew's there or like just peeks and sees her out of the corner of her eye. And she turns around and she's like, Oh my God, Drew, I live for you. Oh, they never met. Yes. Really? Or I don't, I don't think so. Or wow. maybe just in passing. Wow. But again, the two worlds probably don't collide that often. Yeah. And then something something there was some inaudible stuff I couldn't make out and then Drew Barrymore was like oh I just I just want this moment for my records you know and Mariah was like I want it for my records too and then oh. and then they posed for the the little photo and you could hear all this yes oh. now watch when I go to try to find it on social media I'm not going to be able to find it is that is that on Drew Barrymore's thing no I don't know who I think it was it was some fashion person that I didn't know oh. and then it sort of like rotated through there or whatever. I'll keep an eye out for it. That sounds cute. I'm going to try to find it. <laughs> yeah. Did Drew um, fit into the photo with Sharon and Helen and Mariah? I think so. With that red dress? I mean, there was no palette. All it had to be was Dolce & Gabbana. I don't know. I thought Sharon I mean, she and definitely Helen... stood out as different, but it worked for her. You think? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Drew Barrymore with the flowers in her hair. I'll always love that. See, to me, that was too cute. Well, she's always a flower in the hair type of girl, though. She is. She is. I think for her, it was her. Because Drew Barrymore is not high fashion at all. No, I, know. I mean, just watch her talk show. I find that to be an act. Okay, well, me too. I don't buy that. But I love Drew Barrymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I just thought she was just Drew Barrymore. I, I guess yes. I'd never like even think about those things when I think about her and just, oh, cute. Sure. Fine. Whatever. I don't know. I felt like the Mariah, Helen, Sharon legendary status was different than the Drew status. I'm not arguing that. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. <laughs> we, I thought there was I more power she's... in the three of them versus yes. with Drew. Yes. But also let's not forget that Drew Barrymore has a very uh, successful production company and a makeup brand and all kinds of other things. It's just, she's not... She, there, she doesn't have like that legendary legend. Yeah, she's not. A, and she's a, a good, legend, but she's not a legend. What's a good movie she's been in outside of ET? Oh, girl. Oh, tons. Like what? Um, riding in cars with boys. Okay. Um, boys on the side. There's okay. a lot of boys. Um, Ever after. Duplex. Um, home fries. Don't forget the home <laughs> fries. <laughs> 
don't. Okay. Honey, she had a good wig there. Okay. She's been in some things. <laughs> and of course, E.T. But <laughs> girl, don't get me over here defending Miss Drew. <laughs> Anyways, it was a cute moment of all three of the ladies and, and we loved it. And Mariah was excited to see her. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. I felt like she killed the vibe. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> <laughs> She was only there for a photo op. They didn't like, you know. No, I know. It was a cute dip in, dip out moment for yeah. Drew over there on her Instagram. Yes, yes. But Mariah loved it too. She said she wanted it for her records. And also Anita was there. Anita. Anita. Yeah. Yes, she looked great. She had she a little tiny mini too. dress on. There's like different themes throughout this um, fashion show. And so there's like a priestess sort of relig uh, religious vibe happening but also like a widow look mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah I watched uh, a lot of the fashion show because I was always trying to spot where Mariah was uh -huh. sitting um so I saw there was a lot of veils mm -hmm. and a lot of somber moods now was Mariah a widow no no she was like a fashion goddess she was like a goddess a goddess yeah because she could have been a widow well she could have been but she like killed her husband she didn't, he didn't die. She killed him. She was never married because she ain't giving her money to nobody. <laughs> That's who she was. <laughs> no, but you know, these, all these like ancient um, goddesses that yeah. always like kill their husband at some point. Uh huh. With like a bow and arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Or a snake or whatever. Oh, yeah. Or a snake. Yeah. Could have been. <laughs> That's Mariah's storyline. Well, that's the thing I wanted. Do, did you see? Um, oh, it was very opera singer. Oh, yes, yes, Very there you opera. go, especially with the fan. Yes, yes, that's what yeah, it was. That's what, okay. Okay, I was because I was just going to say, I want to know more of like what the inspiration for that dress is because, right. again, we said it looked the beautiful, like Italian tile, the colors, so, so beautiful. Yeah. But it, when you see the sketch of it from Dolce & Gabbana, mm -hmm. she has flowers in the hair. Mm. did you see that like you know how drew had the flowers in the hair uh -huh. they drew mariah with the flowers in the hair but mariah said no flowers in my hair that would have given us mermaid vibes exactly so we've got a crown and that gave us like goddess vibes yeah Queen. Queen. goddess yes, yeah yes. for sure so i love that mariah sort of you know did, did her own little twist on it i agree um did it give you uh flashbacks to that was a paper magazine, which was in Vegas. Ooh. And she had that crown in her in the hair. Yeah, but that was more like trash. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, was, that, was, that was that was very good, Vegas. That, that was, was Vegas. very, very Vegas. Yes. Which is very <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what that was. But yes, I did actually go back to that visually, but this is so much better. Way like, better. Beyond. Beyond. Oh, I hope we got a proper photo shoot of the look too. Well, I think we did because Mariah posted that one where she's sort of standing just by herself. That was gorgeous. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, those were good. Yeah. But you want like, I well, want to indoor so you can zoom in and like study it better. Well, I think this is the best we got. And I honestly, guess. they, I mean, they probably did just for their record keeping of mm -hmm. whatnot, but the setting of this place or this fashion was amazing uh -huh. girl the cameras the lighting and when you see it all yeah oh i was i was like this is like i at first i was like is this a set uh-huh and i'm like no this is like real life that's what you're like it's been there for thousands of years yeah, it's Europe. gorgeous yes i was like phenomenal phenomenal mm -hmm. place so i'm glad mariah did like photo shoot outside like in the space mm -hmm. so girl mm -hmm. that's enough for me i'm loving it um fun to see mariah out of back in europe of course yeah of course being over there rich and luxurious i know yes it's I also love it. an exciting event when mariah carey comes to your country oh yeah oh honey they were all gagging for gagging, her gagging yes and in that dress who wouldn't i know who wouldn't here she comes we're gonna gag for mariah some more but we have to take a quick slash break so stay tuned we'll be right back The Mariah Report is supported by PodcastCBD.com. Use the promo code REPORT 
to get 10% off of any purchase and free shipping on orders over $50. Dan, I'm so excited to bring this product to our listeners because it's something that I've been taking for a while now. And at podcastcbd.com, you can get something called Wild Gummies. They come in the raspberry flavor. They are delicious. Now, I've been hearing everybody in the streets talk about CBD this, CBD that, and I have no idea what CBD is. Think of it as a natural compound or even as a supplement that you add to your health regimen. So CBD is something that your body makes naturally, your brain makes it, especially after you exercise. And so taking a gummy uh, gives your body a boost. And I actually used to be a skeptic until I realized that I was doing it completely wrong. Well, how, what were you doing wrong? How are you supposed to do it right? So when I first tried it, I was just taking like one dose. I wasn't even measuring how much I was taking. I just tried it and hoped for the best. And really nothing really happened at all. I didn't feel anything, didn't do anything. So I just thought it was bogus. However, somebody explained to me that what you need to do is measure how much you're taking. So for example, the gummies, the wild gummies, they are 25 milligrams a piece. And then so you know the the dose and then you take it daily to get the benefits. And what are the benefits of these CBD gummies? So the main one for me is that I used to have horrible sleep issues. I couldn't get to sleep, couldn't stay asleep. I'd wake up in the middle of the night. I wasn't falling asleep until 2 a.m. It wasn't good. So I started taking these to help with that. And I found it really did help me fall asleep earlier. And I was able to stay asleep and I was waking up refreshed as well. That was the main benefit of it. And I also found it really helped with my anxiety that I had. It's brought me back from anxiety attack several times. It kind of just takes the edge off it. Again, nat- completely natural. And then the shocking thing that happened was it really cleared up a lot of my joint pain after a couple of weeks. Uh huh. And unlike taking a Tylenol or something like that, that just covers up the pain and temporarily relieves it, it actually got rid of the inflammation in, in my joints. Well, these benefits sound real yummy to me, so I might not need to go get some of these gummies. Yeah, so make sure you head over to podcastcbd.com, use the promo code REPORT to support this podcast, The Mariah Report, and get yourself some premium lab-tested hemp CBD products. Okay, Mariah in Italy. Yes. Because now, like I said a little earlier, it's not just her. The whole team is there. Mm-hmm. So everybody, we got the Christopher Buckle. Yes. We got hair. Both hairdressers are there. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we have Tristan, who is the uh, stylist. Yes. So he was helping her. Um, he was. Yes, uh, with her train, making sure that, you know, there was no accidents mm-hmm. or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, okay, so now, as you might remember, a few weeks ago, I said that Brian looked tired. Mm -hmm. I I apologize (laughs) because girl, when he was walking next to Mariah, Uh I was, honey, I was heated, overheated girl. The basement was flooded. (laughs) He was so gorgeous. Gorgeous. Really? <laughs> yes. Girl, the hair, like he was just like, that's looked the good. Brian. He had a good suit on. The suit was oh, great. Oh, yes. And it was just showing just enough of the chest and yeah. every, yeah. girl, gorgeous. That's the Brian. That's that's the Brian I that's love. That's your Brian? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't see him like that. That's okay, girl. More for me. But he looked and good. And Mariah. I didn't say he doesn't look good. I'm just, that's Brian. You're not gagged that's by him. That's not my him. man. You're yeah. not gagged by <laughs> That's Mariah's man. <laughs> Uh, no, so I loved. I, girl, they looked so gorgeous. The whole family did. Actually. Oh, there's oh, there's a photo of the whole family. Him, Mariah, and the kids walking in the street. Like, mm-hmm. These kids are too cool. Oh my god, they're like right? beyond, they're beyond. I mean, I I I know that photo you're talking about. Yeah, super super gorgeous. I was like, I can't deal with these kids. Too, I know they'll bully me. Girl- <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared I'm gonna get bullied by these kids. <laughs> They were serving fashions as well, and I loved it. Monroe's hair mm-hmm. and Rocky. Oh my God, he looked too cool. His outfits. I want his outfits. Yes, but I'm not. I, I can't. I can't pull him off like him. I know. <laughs> so, anyways, everybody was fabulous. The whole, the whole gang, mm-hmm. all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, that was the whole fashion show. Listen, it was a fun thing to be tracking. Yeah, there were couple other moments that we saw pictures from like Chris Jenner I guess oh, okay that sort of caused a little interesting scuffle I guess on <laughs> social media like what was that a little back and forth situation this or that well because you know Mariah did shade the daughters in the past yes uh, because of Nick Cannon talking about things oh yeah that's remember? right remember well, because back to Nick Cannon uh, exactly 
But how do we feel about Mariah hanging out with Chris Jenner? I'm fine with it. I mean, I'm fine with it because, you know, I'm sure, I mean, I, that's just what you do in the business. You know what I mean? It's not like, I don't think they're having dinner together. And even if they did like privately, like you're going to the fashion show, you meet, greet and mingle with everybody. Mm -hmm. That's just how it goes. And I don't hate Kris Jenner. I just don't care for her. Like she's not my cup of tea. I'm sure Mariah either feels like that or she loves Kris Jenner. They can be whatever they want. Um, Well, I did see after that photo that I think the daughters were all posting about it and fanning out and they all Mm. love Mariah. Oh, they do. They all love Mariah. They do all love Mariah. Yeah. Yep. You don't need to be mad at them. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So yeah. I'm not mad. No, I'm I guess mad. I'm not mad at all. No. <laughs> well, why did I think I was mad? <laughs> Somebody told me I was mad. I'm not people mad. want to people want. <laughs> I don't people know. People want to make people mad. Yeah, no. Over I nothing. wasn't bent out of shape over it. No, 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 no. It was fine. It was perfectly acceptable socialization. Right. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. And this is where we see Mariah. They're on the beach. Do you know what? Mariah what? should be calling Chris Jenner and doing shit like a skincare line or something that I want to be purchasing. You yeah, can't well, to do all that. We might have to talk about that later. Maybe we do want Chris Jenner around. <laughs> you never know, although that cleaning brand of hers, I, I, don't, think, cleaning I brand. don't think it's going what very it? well. What cleaning brand? Well, she it was okay. Now it's the gossip report. What? <laughs> so it was a cleaning brand with um, um, Chrissy Teigen. Oh, well, that's a different situation. No, because then Chrissy, no, it's not, it's, just, it's still the same situation, girl. No, because Chrissy, Chrissy got in trouble and the hate wagon rolled over her yeah, dead body. Ten, 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 that's fine ten. because that, and that's why she's no longer a part of it. Oh. But the brand on its own, because it's still out there, is not doing anything. Like nobody knows of it. What so, is it? Like organic? Clean girl, stuff? it's like whatever Jessica Alba's doing. Yeah, like, um, I don't see it. So I don't know. What do you call that? Like non-toxic shit. Yeah. Cleaning product. Which is great and lovely. Fine. Perfect. Someone's got to make it. But like, you know what I mean? So it's just a failing business. Oh, like the socks for the sun. Robert Kardashian. Oh, oh, I was like, sun socks? I thought you meant the sunshine. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. The sock company. Exactly. Sometimes these people just make these companies just so they can have a company to like maybe allegedly launder money through. I don't have that kind of business. No, did you hear that there is a conspiracy? Now, this is really the gossip report. (laughs) It's a thin thin news episode. episode. We're going to get back to Mariah because there is more. But I heard a complete conspiracy theory that they were allegedly, allegedly, they were like laundering all of Britney's millions of dollars through that Lou Taylor woman because Lou Taylor was. Wait, wait, are we talking about the Kardashians now or the Spearses? The Kardashians and the Spearses. They intermingled? Yes, through Lou Taylor, that woman who got Britney into the thing, started funneling money all around and through the two camps, the Spearses and the Kardashians. That's what I heard. Allegedly. Allegedly. On the streets. Girl, you know, the Twitter will be tweeting. I'm confused. So Lou Taylor. Lou Taylor was allegedly taking Britney's money. Mm Mm-hmm smuggling it into laundering it i think is the technical term into the kardashians so they could start to fund all these businesses and then launder money through them so that britney's lou, money yes britney's money so that the lou taylor can then start taking you know her cut profit. through here laundering only works when there's cash girl i don't know how that works that doesn't make sense. Well, I don't know how it makes sense, but that's what the people are saying. No, that would mean, yeah, our listeners are smart. Yes, well, <laughs> some, <laughs> definitely. Tell us if, <laughs> if I'm wrong or Dan's wrong. But I think laundering only works if it's cash. When you have cash and you pretend to purchase things from a business or um, like if you watch Breaking Bad, have you ever seen that? Yeah. The drug money, they had the, the car wash, right. a cash business. Right. So you pretend to sell a product that doesn't really exist to get the cash going through right or that one movie on like i think nbc called like good girls or something and they're money launderers uh, and they have yeah so i'd like i get that but, now maybe i'm using the term wrong here but they're taking her money and somehow putting it off seas and then bringing it back over or something like that because i imagine any sort of britney spears money is she's paid electronically or with checks from the label and the record comp- and uh, the concert people 
Well, wouldn't so any be a rich person betrayal. be doing that? There's a trail with evidence. Not if you take it off these uh, to the Kardashians, you know, land of the United States of Freedom. Oh, you think it's an offshore situation? I think that might have something to do with it. I don't know. I don't believe that. <laughs> oh, because Kim and Brittany are friends. Friendly, sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And Paris. But do you think that that Lou Taylor woman is doing dirty business? That, I think, is what I took out of all of it, because I don't know how it all works. But that Lou Taylor woman, she's dirty business. I honestly never heard of her. Okay. Until well. just now. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> she was the one, once she got involved, it all went to, you know. Brittany. Or the cleaning products. No, it, it just when she got, I don't know, girl, but her name is attached to nothing good. No good business. Gotcha. That's all I know. So stay that, away. And that, I think, is, is widely known. Oh. So if Mariah were, it's she's basically that woman of, you know, former Mar management. Exactly, she's that for like all these people she's involved with. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, interesting. Yeah, girl, she's the one. Well, I just want a skincare line of Mariah moisturizers, tinted moisturizers. Oh, oh, I love a tinted moisturizer. Yeah. Okay, but I don't know if it has to be through the Jenners, Chris Kardashian Jenners. They do well. Is that Kim. KKK beauty. I mean, so does Trixie Mattel. <laughs> it's true. True. Mariah could do it on her own, I think. If, you know, uh, all these other people can. Who knows? Anyways. I don't know. The last time she did something on her own was about the butterfly water. And I was like, no, -uh, what is this? Was that really on her own, though? It was that man. Which man? One of those men. Jay-Z? No, 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 no. He had one, too, by the way. I think it was a, a label thing. I think it was coming from the label. Wanted everybody to sort of have one. Oh. Was it L.A. Reid? Yeah. I think he was trying to get everybody to have one. Again, a business where you're like, mm, what, what are you doing with this? Because mm -hmm. this isn't, mm, this is not something real. Mm -hmm. But anyways, mm -hmm. back to Mariah. Chris Jenner, okay. Back to Mariah. <laughs> And the Christiana photo. Yes. Well, I'm over it. I'm done. Same. I'm done. Okay, great. Mariah was wearing a lovely, what I believe to be a jumpsuit that looked like a robe. Yeah, a little bra moment, sports bra. Perfect, out. beautiful. Yes. She looked very comfortable. She did. In the, I'm sure it was still hot, even though it was nighttime. Exactly. But she was looking very comfortable. The hair beautiful. was holding up. Yes, it was all working. Yeah. So that's what I took out of all of that. Yeah. And then a little conspiracy theory on the side. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I bet she felt so good taking off that dress. Oh my gosh, yes. So she back could to the breathe. Boat. Yeah. My goodness. Because there was that funny, um, there's now a gif or meme going around of her fanning herself with the other fan. Yes, she had all the fans. Uh -huh. And it she looked good. hot as hell. Yeah, but she survived and she looked good doing it. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. loved it. Now, um, before we go, there was another social media moment with Mariah and the kids. We're back on the boat. Yes, we're back on the boat. Yes. <laughs> so the, it's basically a TikTok. I guess we all love a TikTok. And Mariah was doing a little fashion show for the kids. And this is where I was like, these kids are serving fashion. I'm sure it was yeah. all Dolce & Gabbana, of course. Yes, yes. But they did a little mini runway, and then they got abusive with each other. They tackled each other, yes. <laughs> and then Mariah gets up in uh, what I'm assuming is a Dolce & Gabbana leopard print pajama set. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, she gets in there and stuff. So it was, that was a cute moment. Do you think Mariah paid to be there? Oh. Or she was invited. I think it's an invite thing. You, you never know with these rich people. Yeah, probably she may have had to pay something. No, I was reading about it. I think it's a client list. Oh, okay. Maybe she's on the client list. Okay, yeah. Okay, and then got an invitation, but maybe you got to pay for your own accommodation. You probably have to pay for your own accommodation, which is probably why Mariah's like, you know, whatever. Let's get the boat. Um, on the boat and stuff. Mm. But it's not that like was... it's not like the Met Gala, where you would like no, pay to be there. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. So it was like a, basically a fashion show. Do you think she was selecting new gowns? Could be. Could be, but that gown she was wearing, girl, there was nothing like that on the runway. No. So it was like a totally different vibe on the runway. And as I was like watching, because it's like oh, an hour, yeah. it was like an hour long. Wait, okay, good question that I'm about to ask. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> the gown she was wearing was that tiled look. Yeah. 
but the runway was that widowed look slash religious priestess vibe. Right. Do we see Mariah wearing a religious priestess widow look at that, any time soon? Well, that's what I was saying. As I was watching this whole thing, mm. I saw nothing that Mariah would, that I could picture Mariah in. Right. It just wasn't her style. Yeah. Like, Interesting. But you never know. I mean, again, they would make, if Mariah did see something she liked, she obviously would just change it to how she wanted it. It's very similar to the Dolce & Gabbana Golden Globes dress that she wore, mm -hmm. which was a regular thing. And then she put this over it. <laughs> the strap. Uh-huh. So, yeah, you, you know, yeah. she, she would change anything that, you know, she saw anyways. And of course, they, you know, they do it. Yeah. I'm sure she'd pay for it. Right. Yeah. But no, everything there wasn't. Right. Vibe. What about what Anita was wearing? That black sort of the shorter skirt. But it was yeah. still very, you know, rhinestone-y, rubied. Mm -hmm gold yeah well that that looked more something like that was in the fashion show right so that was very similar but what mariah was wearing was completely different mm -hmm. or at least from what i saw because it was so long i had to i had to skip through a lot of it yeah and girl that opera in the beginning was gold. mariah there for the whole thing yeah wow. i mean i i was just looking for the big hair right. and i saw it it was there in the beginning the middle and the end okay she stayed <laughs> so so yeah <clears throat> but anyways i would i would say i would have been like listen i've got to go change i need to get out of this dress right i'm i'm here well you know by the photo, time photo photo let me get out of this by thing. the time the show started it was dark uh, so i think some time had lapsed between you know uh -huh. that whole arrival and the show gotcha so it was i think it was maybe had cooled off a little bit but either way I mean, as, as far as this week's Mariah moments, I think we've covered them all. I think so. <laughs> and thrown in a little hate for Drew Barrymore, Barrymore too. And <laughs> we went on a journey to Europe together. Exactly. But it's all in fun. And um, that is going to wrap it up for this episode of the Mariah Report. Yes, it is. Don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, please hit follow on your favorite podcast app. And while you're over at Apple Podcasts, please type in the Mariah Report in the search, scroll down, and you can leave us a review and that helps the show grow helps other people find us too we absolutely love a good review and we read them here on the show ah yes so yes. You'll, you'll get your moment and also don't forget that we are also on youtube you can see our beautiful faces and leave comments there too we yeah. love it the comments over there on the youtube are good they're funny they're good yes. <laughs> y'all keep me cracking up uh-huh exactly <laughs> so make sure you go over there hit subscribe or follow what do you, what do, you do over there uh yes you, you smash the like smash the like oh we're almost at a thousand um subscribers oh we love that we're getting oh, yes. close thank you getting close. thank you help us cross the line share it with your friends if you haven't done so yes please do and if you want to support the show on patreon you can do so as well people are loving our new perk the new perk <laughs> is yes. that we just upload the unedited tape <laughs> you get yes. top to bottom pre-show maybe an after show at some point this show ad free as well um five bucks a month cancel anytime there's tons of content now for you if you join up now come and go it's very loose it's very fun yes. you'll hear all the crazy conversations all the shenanigans yes all of this that and the other exactly and the reviews of that um what do we call it unplugged the unplugged yes. tape mm -hmm. is uh people are loving it so go join in the fun yeah absolutely that's mm -hmm. at the mariah no no mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's at patreon.com slash the mariah report and i that, knew that that link is in the in the description somewhere wherever somewhere. you're hearing this <laughs> anyway we're gonna go because it's late and we're losing the plot <laughs> exactly so thank you and we'll see you next week bye bye the mariah report is produced and edited by dan enriquez and martin burgess hosted by dan enriquez and martin burgess graphics created by sean mark Theme music created by e Reezy Beats. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app. <laughs>